guys, it's Lizzie. Today I'm going to tell you how to survive middle school. This video was highly requested and I personally thought middle school was amazing and I know that if you went to a very clicky school it might have been a totally different experience, but these tips will hopefully help you um, fit in in your school and kind of find your place wherever, whichever type of school you're going to. Well, in elementary school you might have gotten away with one of those like cute backpacks or like a rolling backpack, but like in middle school, like nah, get rid of it. The only cool backpack in middle school is going to be a dance floor backpack, and it's this model. They make another one with like double pockets at the top. That one is not cool, uh, as cool as this one. But black was really cool in my high school, but it's probably not going to be cool at your middle school. So I recommend getting this backpack in a solid color, and they're about $30, which might be a little expensive for some of you guys. But this thing lasted me for three years, so think about it, you're only paying $10 a year for a backpack and it's going to last all through middle school. You also need a gym bag because in middle school you have gym class and if you don't have mandatory PE at your middle school, Michelle Obama is going to like come and force your school to have PE. I love Michelle Obama, she's so mean. It's really going to depend on your middle school what type of lunchbox is popular. At mine there was like a certain type of cloth lunchbox, it's hard to explain. It was like kind of like a dome shaped one and it had like a bottom compartment and a top compartment and the bottom one was cold and the top one was like not. And that was really cool at my Indiana middle school, but then I moved and everyone had like Publix bags that they would bring to school with their lunches in. And so this thing though is what would work in either environment, in any environment, just like a paper sack. And so maybe like on the first week of school or the first month, bring this. And then if you find that everyone brings something else, then you can conform to that. But basically like you can't go wrong with this. Like this is gonna be popular like wherever you are. So now I'm going to talk about fashion and the way you should dress. I'm not really like all for like conforming to how everyone's dressing, but if you're going to be like that person who dresses completely different from everyone else and just has like your own style thing going, people are going to like kind of like not like treat you at arm's length like initially before they get to know you. And so if you don't want to be like that person with kind of a weird sense of style, then these are kind of some tips to look like everyone else. So you need jeans, like I don't care who you are, I don't care what gender or age you are, like, you need to wear jeans. And right now, dark wash skinny jeans are in, and these are from Target, they were like $15. I also have a lot of jeans from American Eagle and Forever 21, and Forever 21 sells them for like $12, so if you're like really poor and can't afford anything, go to Forever 21 and buy stuff there. Also, Air Apostle has jeans for like $20, sometimes they have sales where they're like $10, so Places like that I really recommend going to. Air Apostle was just like my favorite store to shop at in middle school. And so you guys need to buy like dark wash skinny jeans. And uh, for shoes you can either have like sneakers or like you know like Tom's shoes. How they're like that like flat style. Shoes like that or just like really cute sandals or gladiator sandals or flip flops. For guys um, jeans are really kind of in style and also a lot of guys like just wear like basketball shorts to school every day with like Nike shoes and like t-shirts and for girls t-shirts do too like maybe not like just like loose t-shirts like I'm wearing but kind of like um, if you go to like Aeropostale or Forever 21 and they just have like normal kind of cute graphic tees like stuff like that would work really well and also you can buy like really like cute tank tops and stuff you guys can look in like all my videos and Stuff like that is normal, like I define it as normal, like if you wear that then you'll be like, people won't like make fun of your fashion or whatever. But um, be really careful because a lot of schools have stupid dress codes and depending on where the school is, like some schools like really enforce it and some schools don't. Like at my school, technically we're not allowed to wear tank tops, but people get away with wearing like tube top dresses, like no one cares. And so you might want to ask like someone who's been at the school like how the dress code is actually is rather than how they say it is. Like, but be really careful about like, the length of short clothes stuff because you might have to buy all these clothes and not be able to wear them. No one wears dresses in middle school, like just no one does, but people do wear skirts, so that's okay for girls. If your school has a uniform, ew, like move to a new state, that, that's just horrible. Communist. If you live in a northern state, Under Armour is super popular. Um, during winter. Bajam! Um, this was my hoodie from middle school and I also had a cross-country one that was like gray and it was so soft. So like I guess 
you can buy like graphic hoodies from like whatever store you go to, but it's really cool to save up your money and pay like $30 for one from your school. If you like don't understand fashion but you want to fit in, have a friend come shopping with you or like an older sister and you can have them like help you pick out some cute uh, back to school fashion.